Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be doing another audiobook report, and this time I'm going to be talking about Hounded by Kevin Hearn. And Hounded is book one in the Iron Druid Chronicles. And it's actually a really entertaining book series. If you enjoyed The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher, for, for reference, or The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher, the, the Iron Druid Chronicles has kind of that same feel to it. It's a bit different. The premise is it's about Atticus, O'Sull Atticus O'Sullivan, and he's a druid, and he's supposed to be 2,100 years old. Now, what the books do is the series is actually completed. There's a series of nine books, and I'll include links in the description if you want to check out all the different books. There's also a bunch of different short stories that go along with it. And the deal is Atticus is a druid, and in, he lives in a world similar to a Dresden-esque world where magic exists. And in this case, there are werewolves and vampires and fairies, and especially fairies, because it kind of has an Irish sort of thing going, being, him being a druid. And also... All of the different gods from the past are sort of floating around. Like, he has a beef with Thor, and there's a short story, I want to say, that deals with him and one of the Egyptian gods. I don't remember the name of the god. But, like, he runs into, he runs into Jesus, and he runs into Mary, and he runs into all kinds of, like, Thor again. There's a, I want to say a Russian god of thunder whose name I don't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, there's a bunch of different, there's a bunch of different gods floating around, and they all are also part of the world. He ends up going to the Norse, uh, what's it called? The Norse afterlife? You know, across the rainbow bridge, climbs the tree. It begins with a Y and is unpronounceable. Yasser or something or other. Anyway. But yeah, it's it like that's all spread across like nine books and a bunch of short stories. But it's it's actually a very entertaining book. And one of the more entertaining parts that I found out is, well, that I enjoyed, is he has a dog named Oberon. And he is able to telepathically communicate with Oberon. And Oberon is into pop culture. And it makes it pretty entertaining. I mean, like, they, they they play off of each other pretty well. And there's actually at least one short story, maybe two short stories, narrated by Oberon. There's Oberon's meaty mysteries, The Squirrel on the Train, and again, link to that in the description, where that one, I think, is narrated by Oberon. And so you get a, a dog's eye view of what's going on. Um... I don't want to. The, the problem, the problem with doing these these kind of audio book reports is, it's really tough to talk about a book without having spoilers. I can recommend a style of book, like if you enjoyed the Dresden Files, I, I, I would. Hmm, it's tough. I would argue probably these are a little better than the Dresden Files, but they're really close. Cause I enjoyed, I, I like thoroughly enjoyed the Dresden Files. But this one has an actual resolution because the series is over with uh, book nine called Scourged. So, I mean, it has a resolution. And I, part of the issue, and this is maybe this is just an issue with a lot of long running series, is I started listening to the series before the last couple of books are out. And I, then I listened to the last couple of books as they came out. And it kind of felt like the ending was a little... The ending was okay, but it just wasn't as amazing as getting there. And maybe that's just as hard to end a series. Like, it's hard to end a long-running series. Or it's hard to wrap up anything. Because, I mean, I guess, you know, you have situations where you have a trilogy of something and then... You know, the first book is amazing, the second book is pretty good, 
And the third book is the end and kind of meh. One, one, like, an example of that that jumps out at me is the, the Reckoner series by Brandon Sanderson, where the first book called Steelheart... I'm doing this. My, I'm doing this sort of by memory. I think the first book's called Steelheart, and then there's like a 1.5 or a 2.5 in there called Mitosis, and then ah oh man, I don't remember the name of the other books. I'll include links in the description for these books too. But it's like the first book was phenomenal because the Reckoners, for lack of a better way of describing it, it's a post-apocalyptic superhero book where all the superheroes are bad, and the first book was amazing, and the second book was like really good, and it expanded upon the universe, and you know you found out more stuff, and the third book was the resolution, and it was a little weird at the end, and there's stuff, and it was just like, uh, well, I guess that's an ending, I, you know, and maybe it's just the nature of books where it's tough, it's tough to end a run, and maybe that's what happened with with uh, the Iron Druid Chronicles, but I mean, based upon my my kind of rating of how I determine if I enjoyed an audiobook or not, is like I listened to like one through seven back to back, and I mean I ran through them and I hit the short stories, and so now one thing I should note is some of the stuff's kind of dark. And some of the things there, there's points, there's various points where the 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 casualties are not low, but it's not like I mean it's 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 not one of those things where it's like the the gore level is mostly low, and but it's one of those things like it's there's there's one short story, ah oh man the short story is. What's the name of the short story? There's a short story that I ended up accidentally listening to twice because it was it was in two different collections and it was read by two different people. And oh, by the way, Luke Daniels does a good job. I I thoroughly enjoyed his his narration of the books. But there was a it was, it was the same story narrated by two different narrators, and it was one where they go to a carnival, and the carnival was kind of rough because. It was like demons collecting bodies and souls and stuff. But aside from that, I mean, like, the thing is, there's a few dark moments, but most of it's a, it's a really entertaining series. And nothing jumps out at me as being much worse than the Dresden Files for, you know, gore and violence or whatever. Nothing just awful. So if, if, if you like the style of the Dresden Files... You should definitely give give Hounded and the Iron Druid series a shot. And links to everything in the description. And I don't know. It's it's definitely it was a series that surprised me. Cause when I when I when I saw the description, I was like, eh, it kinda sounds Dresden esque, I'll give it a shot. And it turned out that I really liked it and I just ran through, you know, the seven books that there were were out at the time. So if you're looking for if you're looking for a series to give a shot, the Iron Druid isn't bad, especially if you like the Dresden Files, and you like generally like urban fantasy that kind of thing. And it's, I would say that the one thing one of the things that the Iron Druid series does have over the Dresden Files is it has a bit more humor in it. It's not a comedy, like the series isn't a comedy series, but it has more funnier parts than the Dresden Files does. So, I don't know if, I mean, I, that's one of those things, like, if you like or dislike that, then that is something to factor in. Anyway, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or ideas for audiobooks that I should check out, or one particular thing I'm curious about is, what do you put on the screen when you're just kind of talking about stuff? Because that's something I haven't been able to figure out yet. If you have any suggestions for good background visuals, let me know in the comments. And also, if you have any ideas for books or series I should check out, please let me know. I am always on a hunt for a new audiobook series. And I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of maybe wrapping up my current audiobook series that I'm listening to. So, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, 
please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.